Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some Heroes of the Storm. Today I'm gonna show you some Brightwing gameplay and so far I've played a couple of games with her or him or it. I don't really know exactly what he, she or it is. But anyways, today uh, we're gonna have a look at this hero and this hero is honestly very awkward, okay? I've played a couple of games with her so far. Um, I think I'm gonna call her her. I, I don't know. I don't know. Is, is it a male? Look at the voice. Look, listen to the voice. Obviously, when I do that, she doesn't talk. Alright, whatever. Um, anyways, today we're gonna take a look at this hero, and this hero is one of these heroes that can make or break a game without even realizing it, okay? That is the best way I can describe it. Because basically what is going on, your passive ability, which is obviously, you know, just a straight up uh, straight up passive that, uh, that goes off every couple of seconds, as you can see. Every five seconds it goes off. I heal every nearby ally. And that's one of these, that's one of these passive abilities that means that the more often you are actually in a fight, or like with, with a group of people, I suppose, uh, you will be able to actually just be more useful. And it's one of these heroes that doesn't have a direct heal, but actually can easily do the most healing in a single game. Which is strange, but hey, we are retargeting here, uh, Sonya. Apparently we're not really targeting anyone, that's alright. Um, so that that is basically the the thing with this hero that is that is very interesting to me is that I always 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 have a heal going on and that's that's a pretty big deal. Oh well, let's see. Oh yep, we did manage to get a kill right there. Oh no 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 no! Oof, so close. <laughs> Almost got two kills right there. Um, but that's that's the main thing right there that I wanted to point out before anything else. Um, is that you can indeed. Um, you know, just do the most healing without having an active healing ability. Second, I don't have any kind of mount, okay? I can't mount up, but I do have the option, I haven't done it so far in this game yet, but I do have the option to basically, um, fly to another ally, um, within a couple of seconds. So let's say right now I want to go to the top, because it looks like there's a little bit of aggression going on. I can actually use my mount, and go for, you know, anyone up there, and, uh, just try and, and, and help out. So I'm actually gonna go to Sonya right now because she will need it. And now I'm uh, teleported straight on top of Sonya. Oh, gotta watch out here. Don't die, Loco. Don't die. That's not necessary. That is not necessary. Now, as you might have guessed, because I don't have a mount, I also don't really have any kind of ways to get out of trouble. <laughs> which is, uh, which is interesting. Alright, I gotta be careful here. Oh, gotta try and buffer. Alright, cool. So, that, that is the main thing right there. So, I don't have a mount, I can't really get anywhere, and I don't really do very much damage. Ooh, um, so, yeah, that, that's, that, that's basically one of the main things right there. Now, let's go really quickly over all of the abilities that I have. My Q is basically a skill shield. It's a slow, moving, sort of aggression sort of thing um, that does a bunch of damage in a little area um, of fact circle, which is nice. It's just a nice ability. My W ability right there, you can see it right there, actually deals a bunch of damage. Or doesn't deal so much damage, but it does deal... Um, oh my god, dude, dude, dude. We can't, you can't stay there, Mr. Tank. I can't shield you forever. Alright, cool. My W ability, Polymorphs. So basically, I can turn anything into a sheep or a crab or anything like that, as you can see right there, which is pretty cool. Um, now my E ability is a little bit different, basically what it does, it like shields an ally, so to say. So I can cast it on an ally, and what happens is that, um, you know, I don't know exactly what it does actually, but it, it basically just gives them a little bit of a buff, uh, which you should do on the heroes that is taking a bunch of damage. Um, so, yeah, you can actually see the healing right here, by the way, as well. Every five seconds, this tank right here is getting healed because I'm nearby, which is great. Well, I'm gonna try and get over here. Not sure if that was actually the smartest move I've ever done. Well, here we go. Okay. I'm um, actually gonna go with... Regenerative ability right there, which allows me to do more healing, which is good. Alright, let's see. Dude, 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 we need to get out of here. Just go, just go. <laughs> There's no point in sticking around here for too long. Alright. Alright, so far so good. Um, so my heroic ability, we'll go over that in a second. I have two. Um, I don't really like the second one all that much. Maybe I'm playing it wrong, but basically what that one does is like burst away all the opponents. Uh, which is pretty good, I suppose. I guess it interrupts most of the abilities. Uh, but all in all, honestly, I like the first one a lot better, which is just a straight up heal. So I like playing this as a healer. Now, as long as I'm sticking around here, I am healing, okay? And that's good. 
as soon as I do a basic attack, which is one of the talents I went for right there, as long as I'm basic attacking, I will be healing up my allies, which is great. Ooh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Obviously, it's still going off on cooldown as well, so that's good. Alright, sweet. I'm gonna go to the top. Looks like they we're fine right there anyway. As long as they stick a little bit closer. Alright. Um, so, so far, if you have a look at healing, yeah, I've actually been topping the healing meters. Even though I don't have a single active ability that does healing. Which is pretty cool. I might have to go back to the bot. Uh, actually, I actually can't teleport for another 13 seconds. Which is kind of annoying. Where are we going, dude? We can you, we can just fight there. <laughs> we can we can just fight. No worries. All right. I might have to go to the bot. I might have to go to the bot because it's taking a bunch of damage. There we go. Going straight to the bottom lane. Um, and this is one of these heroes that can definitely like make or break a game. To be honest, like it doesn't really matter what is going on. You can always make or break a game, um, depending on you know what your bright wing is doing. And it's really cool. It's a really cool hero. It's just behind the scenes it does a bunch of damage. So we're gonna go with Blink Heal right here. Um, and Blink Heal, like I mentioned, is my straight-up heal ability. And a nice thing that it does as well, is that it allows me to teleport straight to the opponent. Or to the target that I'm actually healing. So let's say I want to heal him. I can actually heal him like just like that. And the coolest thing about it... Let's slow him a little bit. Okay. The coolest thing about it is that it's near instant. Like, the, the cooldown on it is near instant. Which is huge. So I can just sort of keep on spamming it. Um, and I believe it's a 5 second cooldown or something silly like that. Um, which, isn't, which isn't that big of a deal. Oh, gotta watch out here, gotta watch out here. Loco, you should've been here. Alright, gonna try heal up my allies here. Move over, yep, okay, cool. Alright, gonna try and take out their bright wing. I'm out of mana right now, but I think we're alright. Cause I'm still, I'm still dealing damage, you know? Like, I'm still dealing damage and healing up my allies. As long as they stay close to me, I, I'm doing pretty decent. No, I don't have any mana, but it's still alright. There we go, using my heroic ability, which is a very short cooldown. No, we're not going for it. Alright. That's alright. So ideally I would actually get a little bit more mana, to be honest. Because <laughs> right now I don't really have very much. But you can see, like you can just notice that as soon as I'm nearby, <laughs> for like a minute or so, all of the people in that little area are at full health, or at least like a pretty high amount of health. Which is just very good, it's just very nice. Alright. Gotta watch out here, don't die. Don't die. I try and keep uh, one of my healing cooldowns, or one of my heroic cooldowns, I suppose you can say. Um, I, I try and keep that one up for the longest time. Not even really using Polymorph as much. There we go. Alright. He's stuck. Well, looks like we're dealing a lot of damage, though. Looks like we're doing just fine. Um, but like I mentioned, I don't have a mount, so as long as, like, as long as my allies are alive, I'm good. As soon as my allies die, I basically am dead as well. Alright. Uh, which one do we go for? I'm gonna go with Sticky Flyer, because I, I don't really want to go for the active abilities. Which is just more difficult. Alright. Well, we do need to get out of here, boys. Stop, uh, stop it! Alright. Did manage to keep my allies alive there, which is good. Alright, nice. And you can see, like, they're still... They're still <laughs> getting so much healing. Like, they're still getting so much healing, which is just huge. Well, now we're overextending, though. Go away. That managed to pull a morphin right there. And that's actually the other heroic right there. You could see that for a second. Um, their, their Brightwing right there used the other ability, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, but I don't like it as much as the healing one. I guess it's just a different style of playing. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna go home and then just teleport back. Because obviously I can just teleport back. Alright, gotta get mana. And then go straight up to Echot. Um, and then I'm full mana again. So basically you can hop in and out of the fight without really any issues. And so far, as you can see, like I'm just healing a ton. I'm just healing so so much right now. Um, and <laughs> I don't even have... Well, okay, right now I do have an active ability uh, to do some healing. But, you know, you get the idea. Alright. Help, help out, mister. Walk the other way, dude. Walk the other way. Oof, my god. Why are you going that way? <laughs> I can't heal you like that. Alright, there we go. He's like running away from the tank, you know? This is like World of Warcraft all over again. Thanks. 
Thanks for the pick me up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, at the very least, I managed to keep him alive, right? Well, oh no, okay. Gotta be careful here, boys. Be careful. Go back, go back, dude. Go back. What are you doing? Just go home. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Well, just go home. Oh my God, it's three feet two, guys. Ah! <laughs> Why are you staying? No. <laughs> Why would you turn around? It's five feet three. Okay, whatever, whatever. I did go down right there. Um, so far, we're six in one. <laughs> I was trying to save them right there, trying to make them walk back. But instead, what they decided to do is just sort of stick around and deal a bunch of damage while not really dealing any damage. <coughs> Excuse me, but oh my god. All right, all right. I will be back in the fight in a second. Oh my god. This, this, these are some really poor engagements right here. These have been really poor engagements, um, but I guess that's not really what Brightwing is for anyway. Like Brightwing is the, is basically the the champion that deals damage without dealing damage. That's what I like to call it. All right, gonna go straight up to the top. Might as well. Uh, now the AOE ability is still pretty good. Like in a later part of the game, you can take out enemies really quickly. Oh, I'm gonna go with hardened focus. All right, let's go to the mid. No, dude, we're not gonna be able to take that out. I'm not gonna be able to take that out. I don't deal- Oh my god. Really, dude? Alright. Well, let's just get it done. I don't think this is worth it. Not gonna lie, but... Where are you going, Siege Tank? Siege Tank is going away from the battle. I guess he's gonna clean up this, uh, this one camp or something. Alright. Don't fight! Don't fight with the Garden Terror! It's not worth it! Alright, well, I guess we should have been at the top. Like, we should have just been at the top and helped him out. Because right now, we're not dealing anything. Like, we're not dealing anything. We might get a second terror or something stupid like that, but it's pointless. Like, the first terror didn't do anything. Well, it did do a little bit, I suppose. Alright. Alright. Well, where are we going, boys? Are we gonna group up? Group up. <sighs> okay. Dude, fight! <laughs> he was just chilling there for a second. <laughs> he was just standing there next to his horse. He dismounted, which is interesting. You don't have to dismount. Alright, that's a lot of damage right there for me, but... Uh. Siege Tank, hey, thank you. You finally here as well, man. Appreciate that. Oh. Well, it looks like I will be able to get out of trouble, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I tried saving him right there, but that fight, that 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 was really not helping very much right there. Okay, gonna go Hearthstone right there, get full health, get full mana, and then teleport back on Raynor. Raynor is gonna try and take a two in one fight. Don't really know why. But I guess it's, it will be alright, because I'm moving in right now. I'm not effective in teamfight, but in pushes. You are actually very effective in teamfight as well, dude. Even though you're a siege tank, you can still do a lot of damage. You can still do a lot of damage in teamfights. All right, let's give Vala a little bit of a shield right there. Uh, so far, it's going decently well, though. So far, it's going decently well. I think I could have done a little bit more, uh, but you know, it, it mostly comes down to the rest of my team. Like, sure, I can do a healing and whatnot, but if they're not gonna kill anyone, like, it doesn't really matter, right? But so far, we're still having a nice little advantage. I like it. I like this. Oh, you're just gonna run. All right, where are we headed? I think we should group up more. I'm gonna go to the bottom lane because Raynor is just going all over the place. As soon as I can, I'll go to the bottom lane in about a couple seconds. Well, actually, like, the the tank is not doing very much either. Dude, what are you doing? He's just sitting there. Yes, 
Okay, you can use your R ability as well, like your your strongest ability, sort of as like a a, a way to get in and out of trouble. You can like blink forward and backwards as long as you have something to target. All right, I'm gonna go to him. It's because this seems to be a better position. All right, let's go. All right, that managed to polymorph their uh, bright wing right there, which is good. I actually have to say though, I think this is one of my. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to be careful. Trying to kill that guy right there, and I'm just trying to stay alive, really, because that's where I'm most useful. Just dealing damage without dealing damage. As long as I'm in range, I'm healing them. All right, sweet. Uh, so what I was trying to say there, I think I actually like the role of like a support slash healer more than all the of the other roles, which is weird because I've. I've never really enjoyed it very much in other games. <sighs> Gotta be careful. I can't heal myself, by the way. Which I don't think I've pointed out yet. Guys, help! Help! What are you doing, Raynor? Well, I can't I can't run from my allies either, right? Like. What are you doing, Raynor? <laughs> Why are you up there? <laughs> you were the one taking constant battle. <laughs> you were the chosen one! Alright, whatever. Looks like we are gonna be able to take the fight. Alright, gonna go here for Izara's blessing. Um, allowing me to basically get an extra extra heal in. Which is nice. As long as I would be in mana though. Like, I, I'm not really having very ma mana. Do you really want to take out the terror dude? Do you not- Oh, he's not even aware that we are fighting, I don't think. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him! Ugh. Alright, gonna go uh, get some extra mana right now, and then I'm gonna go for the Garden Terror as well. Sweet, there we go, get some mana. Move straight on them two right there, because they at the very least know what they're doing. Sweet, alright, we're doing quite good. Our Garden Terror is growing right now. Don't know exactly who wants to take it, but... Uh, so far, by the way, I've done 60,000 healing, which is a crazy amount. It's a crazy, crazy big amount. That's good. Alright, someone need to grab it within a minute. <coughs> Alright. Alright. Raynor is taking control of it. Gonna try and get some extra healing done right here. Dude, 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 dude. Woo! I'm dealing a lot of healing, though. I'm dealing healing. <laughs> I know how to English. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so close, man. I have done so much healing to Sonya in this game. <laughs> I wish you could see how much healing I've done to, like, a hero. I think it would be kind of surprising. Alright, we're not gonna be able to do it right there. <laughs> He's just moving so slowly. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Alright, you start dealing some damage then. That's alright. Let's go. Let's just kill the core, boys. <laughs> dude, just attack the damn core! Where are you going? You could've finished that! What are you doing? Oh my god. We could dude, we could <laughs> We could have just pushed the core. I, I am quite excited for ranked play, guys. I think it's gonna be a lot nicer. I'm using Q a little bit too often, though. I'm using Q a little bit too often, but... Why don't we just finish it? I guess we're going for the bonus XP or something like that. Gotta be careful here, because, like I said, I don't have healing for myself, except my passive. Alright. All right. Now the nice thing is when you use your R ability, which is my, like I said, the passive, um, that allows me to deal a bunch of damage, or a bunch of healing, um, as long as you use your R ability, you obviously also get in range of the people that need the healing, you know? Like, as long as I use my R and I boost forward, I will instantly be in range for plenty of damage, which is great. Now let's just kill a core, guys. Just kill it. Can we just right-click on it, boys? 
All right, there we go. There we go. All right, GD, sweet. So that was a pretty good game right there. I actually have to say though, Brightwing is a really, really fun um, hero to play with. You really, you really don't get very many problems most of the time. Uh, we can have a, look, a quick look right here at the score screen. Now, sadly, we won't be able to see the healing um, because they they haven't uh, they haven't put that in the game yet. Uh, but you know, you can just know that I I think I did like seventy five thousand, maybe maybe a little bit higher or maybe a little bit more. Um, in healing, which is just very, very, very much. And even though we had a Regar in the team that did some healing as well, I did by far the most right there, which is, uh, which is just nice, you know? Like, it's one of these heroes um, that is a lot of fun to play, but if you have someone that doesn't know at all what they're doing, I'm not saying that I know very well what I'm doing, but if you have, if you have, a, okay, let's put it like this. If you have a really good Brightwing, you will be able to win a game or break a game. Very easily. It's one of these heroes that is dealing damage and healing a lot while no one is paying attention. And a good bright wing will obviously always be flying across the map, going to the lanes where he's most necessary. Um, and I have to say, I actually really, really like these sort of roles. Um, it's the same with the other heroes that I played in the past already, um, such as like Gaslaw and whatnot, where are kind of like specialists that kind of have like a, a, a hidden role in the game that aren't so much in the in the battle all the time, but are dealing damage. Um, while, you know, other things are going on, and while you're basically just being very useful for the rest of the team, and not so much the one that does all the damage. But anyway, I'm just rambling here. I hope you guys had a good time. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Then I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!